Now back to Inside West Virginia Politics with Mark Curtis. And we welcome you back to our final segment this week on Inside West Virginia Politics. We're going to shift the emphasis from politics to health. I want to talk to, uh, or introduce rather, Ray Harrell. He is the General Counsel and Chief External Affairs Officer at Boone Memorial Health. Great to have you on the program. Thank you for Good having to see me, Mark. It. And he's a fellow Florida Gator. <laughs> whenever I, whenever I somebody like Evan Jenkins, I always have to talk <laughs> about our Gator connection. Anyway, uh, enough about that. Boone Memorial Health. It went under a transformation about a month ago. It was formerly known as Boone Memorial Hospital. Why the change to health? What's the message there? Well, it's, it's a big message and it's multifaceted. And so uh, Boone Memorial Hospital opened its doors in 1964. Uh, it was a county owned hospital. And uh, the hospital has been an integral part of the services we provide since that time. But over the last 10 years, we've, uh, we've gone through quite the transformation. Uh, we've nearly tripled our workforce. We have over 450 personnel that are part of the BMH family now. We've added four clinic locations. Uh, we've added eight specialty services. Um, we've also added our Black Lung Center, our Brighter Future Substance Abuse and Mental Health Treatment Facility. Um, and we've also reinvested several million dollars in our capabilities, technology. Um, so in addition to all that, as if that's not enough, in addition to all that, um, in 2020, our board of directors uh, changed our mission statement just slightly, and it included a focus on prevention. And so the message is, it's, it's not just about the hospital. It's a hospital, but so much more. It's about prevention. It's about overall health. And one of the big focuses, and it's been a particular problem in this state, is rural health care. If you're in Charleston like we are today, there's plenty of hospitals we can go to. Rural areas of the state, not so much. It's hard to find doctors in some places, nurses, health facilities. Talk about your broader focus in the rural health care. Well, uh, you bring up such a great point, and the importance of rural health care cannot be overstated. West Virginia is largely a rural state, and we have several hundred thousand people uh, in rural communities, including the communities that we serve, and they have a lot of barriers to access to health care. That includes everything from transportation, health literacy, workforce shortages, shortages and insurance status. Um, and so the more we can do to bring health care to those communities, uh, the better. And that's why our message is bring medicine home. You talk about a couple of the things you're particularly well known for. One is the Black Lung Center. Talk about that and why it's so important. Well, the Black Lung Center is, is incredibly important. As you said, uh, as you know, we have uh, a very large part of our population who are either in the uh, coal mining workforce or have been in the past. And uh, unfortunately, a lot of those folks suffer from uh, black lung disease. And so being able to have a facility there where we can uh, evaluate and provide the examinations and assist with uh, filing the federal black lung claims. Uh, it's, it's a great service and, and we're proud to be able to provide it. And the Boone area has not been untouched by the opioid epidemic in this state. You have a program called Brighter Futures, which is my favorite thing about your health care system because my dear friend Chelsea Carter runs it. We've featured her on this program many times. Talk about the importance of Brighter Futures in drug prevention, treatment, education. Well, it's, as you, as you know, and as you mentioned, Boone County is one of the hardest hit counties from the opioid ep epidemic. And so Brighter Futures, we launched uh, a few years ago, and it, it's providing such a service to the community, to those who are suffering from addiction and mental health issues, and we're, we're glad to be able to provide that service to, to our community. Yeah, I want to hold up a, a plaque uh, and mention that we won the Edward R. Murrow Award, one of the most prestigious awards in all of journalism, for profiling Chelsea Carter, um, who now runs Brighter Futures, because she had a horrible problem with addiction, went to prison, got out, got clean, got sober, <laughs> got a bad bachelor and master's degree in counseling and now she's helping people that walked in her shoes. I mean, it's just remarkable. She is. It's a credible story. Congratulations on the award. Well, congratulations on better, Brighter Futures. It's just something else. A great success. The foundation, that's something you guys also, uh, when I was at you, when you had the big ceremony changing from uh, the hospital to health, you gave away a lot of checks to the community, a lot of projects for young kids. What, what's the focus there with the foundation? Well, as you said, this year we launched the BMH Foundation for Community Health. And our foundation's mission is to improve the overall health of the communities we serve by addressing the social determinants of health. And so the CDC and others recognize social determinants of health include health care access and quality, education access and quality, social and community context, neighborhood and built environment, and economic stability. 
And so when you look at all of those things, it's a very broad brush uh, that, that that picture paints. Uh, but everything we're doing through the foundation is focused on those five areas of life. And so we've got a, a multi-factor approach. Uh, we're doing the grant making, as you mentioned, and, and so we're providing grants to other nonprofits such as ours, uh, as well as governmental entities. Uh, we're going to have our own managed projects and operations that we hope to be able to announce here in the next few months. Um, we're also doing community health education. And health literacy, as I mentioned before, is so important. Uh, those programs um, to, to teach people about healthy living and, and uh, disease prevention and control are so important. A lot of exciting things going on in Boone County at Boone Memorial Health, formerly known as Boone Memorial Hospital. We want to thank Ray Harrell. He is the General Counsel and Chief Executive Officer, Chief External Affairs <laughs> Officer. I got some mouthful. Does that all fit on a business card? <laughs> Barely. Thanks for joining us, Ray. We'll have you back. This is a fascinating topic and uh, to be continued. Okay? Thank you, Mark. And thank you for watching us this week at Inside West Virginia Politics. Don't forget we're a podcast, so download us from your favorite podcast vendor. We'll see you back here next week.